Ukraine's president is leaving that country for the very first time since the war broke out in February. In fact, he'll be in Washington, D.C., speaking to Congress at 7.30 tonight. Fox 35's Madeline Rivera looks at what's at stake. Under tight security and with the eyes of the world on him, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky arrives to Washington to make his case for why more aid is needed in Ukraine's war against Russia. All the appreciation to you, first of all, Mr. President, for your big support and leadership. President Zelensky started his visit to the U.S. with a rare in-person meeting with President Biden, just hours ahead of his address to a joint meeting of Congress. Zelensky is making a case for why the U.S. needs to continue helping Ukraine. President Zelensky, the United States stands with the great people of Ukraine. We stand for you and a great leader. Zelensky's visit comes at a crucial moment on Capitol Hill. Congress is currently weighing whether or not to approve a massive spending bill that includes some $45 billion earmarked for Ukraine. The Biden administration, however, isn't waiting. Early Wednesday, they announced another $1.8 billion military aid package, including funding for Patriot missile defense systems, which would likely require U.S. troops to train Ukrainian forces on how to use. Helping equip our friends in Eastern Europe to win this war is also a direct investment in reducing Putin's future capabilities to menace American, threaten our allies, and contest our core interests. Russia is already condemning the move, saying it will only increase tensions in Eastern Europe. All this, of course, leads to an aggravation of the conflict and, in fact, does not bode well for Ukraine. Russia also announced Wednesday a plan to expand its forces by at least 500,000 soldiers in the coming months. In Washington, Malta Rivera, Fox 35 News.